Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm your iGadget lady. I do the research so you don't have to. Today, we're gonna talk about this Q card wallet case. Now, this is for the iPhone 6 and 6 uh, Plus. You can also use it on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus as well. And this case is actually a bestseller on Amazon. And it's one of the best wallet cases you can get for your iPhone. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over some of the top features for you. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and I'm gonna let you know exactly what I did like and what I did not like. So stick with me for this quick review. Now again, this is the cue card case for the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, and it also works on the 6S models as well. Now I picked this one up on Amazon for around 40 bucks. I'll leave you a link below in case you wanna grab one. I'll, I'm gonna do a really quick uh, unboxing. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know, for me, I'm gonna uh, use the product for at least a week or so before I even show it to you. So this unboxing is sort of a kind of unboxing. How about that? Because <laughs> it's already been opened before. So anyway, getting into this, um, you can see as far as the, the way that they package it, very nice packaging. Let's talk about what I really liked about this iPhone case. And again, a wallet case. I wanted a wallet case because I don't know, it feels like sometimes I've got bricks inside of my purse, <laughs> I swear. I, and I clean it out and it's still so daggone heavy. You guys probably can't relate to that, but the ladies out there watching, know, I know they feel my pain. But in either case, I wanted something that would definitely cut the bulk out. I'd be able to, if I wanted to go walking or jogging, I could uh, carry my iPhone with me without having to take anything else. So one of the biggest things for me that stood out is the fact that this thing is so thin and so light. It's got this fabric material here, but again, on first impression, this thing is ridiculously thin and light. And you can see it's very easy to get in there. It's got a nice fabric here. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's some type of a fall leather. I'll hopefully zoom in a little so you can see a little more of the detail in that. And this is supposed to expand as you put more cards in. One of the things again that drew me to this was the fact that it's absolutely very lightweight and very thin, very easy to hold. I like this part as well where you can easily access your cards. So I'll put two of those in there. Let's see if I can get three. So you can see you get three cards in there comfortably. This says it, uh, or they say it does expand. Again, I like this part because you can just push up on that and slide a card out just like that. Now another feature that this has is what they call a lay flat uh, screen guard. So it's a little raised up around here so that if you lay your, phone down flat like that, the iPhone glass is not gonna touch the surface. So that's uh, a pretty cool thing there. Now on the camera, it's got what they say is a flash guard. Be honest with you, I mean, if I'm honest, I have no clue what that does, I, a flash guard. I gotta look that up, but it looks neat. I'm gonna zoom in on these buttons here so you can take a look. Um, they're pretty easy to access and utilize. You don't have to apply a huge amount of pressure. It's not the best I've seen, but it's certainly not the worst. You can see you've also got easy access to uh, the speaker is exposed, the uh, charging port and the earphone adapter. So hopefully you can see that pretty well. One other thing that I always like to check out on my iPhones, I have a car charger, so it's a big deal for me to make sure that this car charger will fit. And even though it's not a perfect fit, it will charge my iPhone in my car without having to take this off. 
that's a huge plus for me. And believe me, I've got quite a few cases by some top uh, brands that I've literally got to take the case off before I can charge it in the, in the car. Now to a couple of things I didn't quite like. Um, one of them was that it was, you know, at first, and they do say this, that, you know, when you first get the wallet, it's gonna be hard to get three cards in there. But as you notice, after I've um, used it a little while, you can get them in there. But it, it just was a, just a little hard for me. So it's not a huge thing that I dislike, but it took a little while. And it does add, you know, a little more bulk and doesn't make it look as good as it did with just a couple of cards in there. That's just my opinion. But again, that's extremely minor. Now, the only other thing I didn't quite like about the, the case it's the it's just a little pricey. It's 40 bucks. I've gotten some really cool cases for around the 20 20 dollar mark. So, that's again the only two things that I dislike about it. So, overall, I'm giving this case definitely thumbs up, especially if you want something where you don't have to carry a big huge wallet around. You can access a couple of cards, maybe throw some cash in there as well. So, again, I'm giving this thumbs up. Now I'm gonna do this every week, every Thursday I'm coming to you with some type of an iPhone, iPad, or an Apple Watch accessory review. So be sure to come back next Thursday. Also, please hit that subscribe button. I'm a growing channel and I wanna keep bringing these videos to you.